so on today's video we are going to talk about cups all about cups and not necessarily like why i like my cup because there's so many cups i'm sure you guys really don't care what i <laughs> use but we're going to talk about the cup size capacity and how it relates to the pods that you choose but as i show you guys my cups i'm sure you guys are going to want to know where i got them so i will link them in the description box below but without further ado let's get started with this video now i don't know if it's just me but i dislike even if i go to the stores like starbucks or duncan or wherever and if somebody hands me the coffee and the coffee is not to the rim i don't know why it bothers me so much and it happens at home too when i choose the wrong cup so that is what we're going to talk about in today's video cups and how they relate to your pods and whatever capsules you choose to drink and the amount of milk that you choose to add so let's get started i have a ton behind me so i'm just gonna grab one and share with you guys the cup and what i like it for these right here have been extremely popular these are from crate and barrel um super cheap i think like six or seven dollars depending on the size i like these for different reasons obviously this one right here it's a bigger cup i believe it's let me double check this one is a 16 ounce capacity cup this one is really good for if you do like a double espresso chiaro bianca leggero or two capsules of the original line coffee capsules this and a good amount of ice nice frothy milk i think it's the perfect size 16 ounces sometimes i find myself using this one too like if i'm gonna do like a cold brew and not just so much like froth milk if you were to use these bigger size pots for example a caramel cookie and then still want to do like a half cup of milk is what i usually do when i have it hot i don't think it'll fit here but if i do this and a pumpkin cream cold brew like on top then it's like the perfect cup i think i used this one for my cold brew video but it's a really good one i like it it's a very pretty cup whenever i'm using it i get a lot of questions as to where i got it do not spend a lot of money on these because it i i've seen them like on etsy and even on amazon for like 20 bucks a piece crate and barrel super high quality it's really heavy and it's awesome the little one this is actually a whiskey glass but i like it for single shot espresso lattes this one's an 11 ounce capacity so you can do hot or iced whatever you prefer but i love single shot lattes with this with ice just keep in mind like you're for example like this is an 11 ounce cup and if you're doing a double espresso chiaro i believe that's like a three point seven ounce plus four ounces of milk four three seven and then you include the crema plus the foam it ends up overflowing so always keep in mind the crema and the foam because you're gonna run out of space if you don't include it another cute cup and i think it's under six dollars for this one this one right here is from corksicle i believe is the brand and it's a really nice like prism colored glass this one is a 12 ounce cup i love this one for lungos i don't think i've used this one for anything ice correct me if i'm wrong i'm sure you guys know my reels or videos better than me but this one i tend to gravitate towards when i'm like using costa rica or uh, decaf on tuoso what else like any of those grand lungos this is perfect because it still leaves me enough room to use a half cup of milk and the grand lungo is about five ounces i like it and it has a good grip on it i know if you're kind of like an og subscriber then you saw my reel where i dropped all of my coffee on my wall and yeah it was hard to hold and it's still hard to hold but i love that cup you'll see it in this video but yeah this is another one that i wanted to share perfect for your grand lungo brewing here's the next one a very popular cup every time i use it you guys want to know where i got it and it's starbucks you just go to your local starbucks i feel like they always have them this one and another nice one that i've never bought but i always want to get i just always stop myself because i really don't need it it's almost like the green recycled vibe but it looks more milky i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about but this one let me see i think it's 16 fluid ounces but i'm not quite sure but this one is another cup that i use for a cream cold brew on top so if i use a full coffee pad size like this one i'll brew my coffee in here sometimes use my hyper chiller most of the time if i'm using a big one hyper chiller and then either um creamer or a cold cream over it and it's like the perfect size with ice i never use this for hot coffee i just don't think it's the vibe but 
I love these for those bigger coffee size cups. Here's another one. This is fairly new to my collection. It's, it says Mama Bear from Target. This is another 16 ounce cup, perfect for these humongous, you know, coffee ones. I tend to use either creamer or um, a half cup of oat milk, and I feel like it always fits. So that's another one that I wanted to share with you guys. Mama Bear, if you guys are moms, it's simple, but it's cute. Okay. I hesitated to showing this one because I feel like I can never find it on Amazon anymore. Like it's always discontinued and I'm always telling you guys it'll come back, it'll come back and I feel like it never does. Yeah, currently unavailable. But the reason why I wanted to bring this one up is because it's a 14 ounce cup. This one, I feel like it's perfect for the ice two shots of espresso, whether you do it from virtual or original line, two shots, a double and a half a cup of milk with your ice and it's the perfect size check out tj maxx check out amazon they have tons i literally just went um i think what was it i think it was tj maxx where i went and i checked out their like glassware and they had so many of these 14 ounce cups so don't sleep on uh, tj maxx or marshall's home goods i feel like you'll find these you don't need these and i feel like if they bring them back they're gonna rack up the price because they already sold out once. So but definitely a 14 ounce cup is gonna be great for iced lattes, you know, macchiatos and all that. Here's another one. Let me double check because <laughs> this is another cup that goes um, in and out of stock on Amazon, but it's really pretty. This one is a 16 ounce humongous coffee mug that I love for the, again, those humongous coffee. Yeah, okay, so it's actually back in stock and it's $31, which I think is a lot pricier than what I paid. I think I paid $25, so they definitely racked up the price. But I like this shape. It's very different. And if you see the bottom, they all stack on top of each other, which is nice to put away. But this one, again, it's a double walled glass. Super pretty when you're pouring in the milk into your coffee. I feel like that is, it's like a really special moment when the milk touches the coffee and you can see it in this humongous cup. But yeah, perfect for those humongous coffee pot sizes. This is a very simple cup, okay? This is from World Market. I think you get, it, they're stacked. So you get four for like $8 and I think it comes, I'm not sure if it came with like a container. This was actually a gift from one of my cousins during Christmas time. But these are 12 ounce mugs. And again, these are, I also use for lungos or I use for a double espresso like cappuccino double espresso latte stuff like that and it fits the right amount of milk um, with your double shots of espresso and it's a really cute mug i think i can use this to practice my latte art but i just haven't really tried i've tried here and there just nothing comes out yet but still playing with my Critista plus for that latte art and one of you guys said that one time i made something look like a horse so thank you for believing in me because because i think i'll eventually get something anyway for now it's just abstract art apparently so you could start seeing that um pattern a 12 ounce cup is going to be perfect for a double espresso latte with a half a cup of milk it's like the perfect size 12 ounce cup okay here's a cup that i don't know exactly what size this is i mean i guess i can look it up when i use this one i either have to stop my brew early because i want to use a half a cup of milk or I have to use creamer so that it fits. And even with the creamer, sometimes I feel like if the creamer is too frothy, then it kind of overflows. But I love the pattern on this and they're all like personalized. So depending on your name or whatever you're trying to have the letter of, um, they have the whole alphabet. Okay, so it's a 14 ounce cup. Usually a 16 ounce is perfect for um, whatever you want, milk or creamer. Um, but 14 ounces is just a little too shy, too small, unless you use creamer. Um, so just keep that in mind. But it is so pretty. Like, it's really nice to drink out of this cup. It's very, like, thick and it's, it's cozy. I love it. I love my cup. I use this all year round. I feel like it looks like a summery mug. But at the same time, it has, like, these, like, flowers and colors that also can pass for the fall time. So I'm using it all year round. Here's a very popular cup that I tend to use on my taste tests, especially if they're single shots of espresso. This is from Bodum and it's their eight ounce cup. I can't fit two 
espresso shots here with a half a cup of milk. I feel like sometimes that's a little too much, but for sure a single shot of espresso with a half a cup of milk is perfect. And I love these cups. Again, it's a double wall, so you can see that like milk and coffee action as they combine, and it's really pretty. And the fact that they're double walled, I feel like they last a little hotter in the mug compared to like these. Um, so keep in mind and if you don't have a coaster or anything like that then you don't really have to worry about it because since it's double walled you don't really get any condensation on the outside but these are really pretty very simple classic cups but i just always mention them because they are definitely something that i find myself always wanting in my collection here's another beautiful double walled glass mug this is a 16 ounce mug so again you're going to be able to fit those big coffee pot size um, with half a cup of milk if you want a little bit of syrup or you could do creamer and it'll still fit it just right it is beautiful i think this one tends to go in and out of stock with amazon so just keep an eye out of it but if you want something similar and you see something similar on amazon that's even cheaper just make sure it's a 16 ounce capacity and you'll be fine okay here is the cup that i was talking about where i grabbed it and I was trying to place it on my coffee bar and the whole milk went everywhere. And I think it was the Bianco Forte pod. So we were making a joke out of it on Instagram because I hate that pod. And I think the pod hates me back because it spilled everywhere. And it's just like said, no, not today. <laughs> but this is from Nespresso. So this is from their India origins i think it's called and it's the biggest one that they have i don't i don't i've never used like their lungo or espresso size it's the biggest one but for this one i cannot add milk to my coffee pot i have to for sure use it with creamer like these big sizes and i have to use creamer that way it'll fit otherwise if i use um milk or if i want to try to even use the milk i have to stop the brew early to leave enough room so that it doesn't overflow i don't think i've ever used these for grand lungos i know it's a little bit bigger than like a double espresso but i feel like it'll still be short even with the milk with a grand lungo i feel like those bigger coffee pot sizes are better for this kind of cup all right here's another iced coffee option i believe this is a 10 ounce capacity i think you guys have seen me use this time and time again i think it's a very pretty little mason jar with a wooden lid on top okay so there are 16 ounce mason jars so this one this one i find myself using with like another double shot of espresso and then a half a cup of milk i don't think i've ever used this with like the big pots I don't use those ice with this cup usually I, it's just a double shot of espresso kind of latte macchiato and i think it's really nice the only caveat with this cup is that sometimes the lid stays on and sometimes it pops out like that so it just depends on i think honestly how you put it on if there's some sort of water on the on the lid it'll most likely pop up but that's the only thing just thought i'd mention it because i know a lot of you guys have like brought that up to me and it does happen to me but honestly it doesn't annoy me because the cup is just too pretty not to use so that's the only thing i actually gave one of these away to one of my friends that came over and she wanted coffee and told her you can take this one she was so excited it's, it's a really it's a really pretty cup and for lattes i think you guys would enjoy it you can take it to go it has your lid it's nice enough to fit in your little car coffee cup holder so love it all right i have these two options right here these are from anthropology i think these are 16 ounce cups i'll put it on the screen for you guys but these i use for the big coffee pot sizes and i always use the hyper chiller to chill the coffee put a little bit of ice throw it in there and then either do creamer or a syrup and i feel like this is like a really nice cup just to kind of have around the house as you're sipping your iced coffee and they're pretty they're like really pretty um with i think this one they have two more colors with anthropology so i'll have the link in the description box so you guys can check them out but these nice cups are good for those nice big coffee size pots <laughs> i feel like i'm saying that a lot okay here's another one from anthropology i'm actually using it for water um right now but this one i find myself using with like double shot espresso i think the capacity is about 14 ounces so it makes it a little bit better for those espresso shots and it's a really pretty cup it has like the little wildflower design but i do like it for an espresso based drink with ice i don't think i've ever used these hot but it's another 
cute little option that I wanted to share. And it's from Anthropology. Anthropology can pretty much take my, all of my money because they have the cutest stuff, okay? It's not cheap, but they're cute. Speaking of them, I've gotten so many questions on this cup. This is, I believe, a 16 ounce pumpkin little mug and it's from Anthropology as well. I love this one, again, for big pods. A little bit of creamer or milk and syrup and it is so, so cute. I made a reel <laughs> with that sound like, am I better than everyone? <laughs> because i made the coffee and like the perfect amount of milk just like finished right on top and it's like that sometimes doesn't always happen when it's just like perfectly meets meets the rim of the cup um but yeah it was a magical moment and i thought i wanted to share it but this is a really pretty cup just keep in mind some of the reviews on their site says that like they have a hard time drinking from the cup i don't like I don't know if you can see that, but I feel like it's a very comfortable cup, but I do have small lips, so maybe that's what it is. Um, I don't think it's uncomfortable at all, and it's a very sturdy mug. I just feel like it's it's beautiful. Super cute. Staying in that pumpkin like theme, this one, okay, this one is perfect because that one is for big coffee amounts. This one is a 10 ounce mug, which I love the fact that it's so small because this one I use for double shot espresso drinks or Grand Lungos even. And it's it's the perfect, the perfect size. I absolutely love this size. I actually have more options from them. These are all from Target and all of these are 10 ounce cups that you can use for Grand Lungos or double shot espresso lattes and they're just the cutest little things and you can still do like a half a cup of milk or a little bit of creamer and i think it's the perfect size so just thought i'd share those with you guys as well and um i have a few more back here really quickly this one is also another i think this one is a 16 or 17 ounce mug so those big coffee pod sizes are gonna fit this one is from Kirkland's and they actually do have other designs at their store. This one I believe is a 17 ounce mug from Hobby Lobby Snuggle Season. It's a really cute mug, uh, super cozy to drink out of. And again, this one is just perfect for those big cups of coffee. I haven't really shared this one. This one's fairly new to my collection, but I'm gonna start using it pretty soon at the beginning of October. It's just a cauldron shaped little mug. I don't know the size of this one. Let me just check. Oh, it's a 12 ounce. Okay, so this one's gonna be perfect for double shot espresso, half a cup of milk, grand mangoes, a little bit less than a half a cup of milk. And I think it'll be the perfect the perfect size. It is super cute and it has like a nice like spider web detail. I think there's a little spider. Yeah, like there's one right there, maybe another one here. Super cute. Here's the other one that I haven't really displayed because again i'm going to start using this in october it's a little cute ghost um cup and this one is 10 ounces as well so this one is going to be perfect like the one that i you know described the little pumpkin the owl and the foxy this one is another good one for those type of drinks and if you want something bigger <laughs> i got this one at uh what was it cracker barrel and it's actually like from their brand. So I don't know if you could find it anywhere else but their store. I won't be able to link it. But if you guys have a Cracker Barrel near, near you, you might still find these. They are the cutest things. And they have like other like stuff. Like they had like a spoon rest. They had salt shakers and stuff like that. But I ended up just getting the, um, the little skeleton mug. And it looks like her hair is part of the... <laughs> The handle i just thought it was really cute i wasn't gonna get it but then search was like get it it's nice get it and i did i'm glad i got it so I'm ready to use it as soon as october starts and i think that is it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed this and if i confuse you as far as like ounces i'll put kind of like the description like explaining it a little bit more and kind of like what ounce fits what or what kind of ounce you know is perfect for your type of capsules so yes i'll leave you guys with that and if any of these cups look interesting to you that you guys want to check them out all of them if i can all of them will be linked in the description box and yeah i think that is it for today's video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye